Hello and welcome to something new for my channel. New in two ways. One, it's a Pokemon game. And two, it's a challenge of any game of whatever type. Anyway, we're going to do something that I've wanted to do since I figured out about this challenge and it is the Nuzlocke challenge for a Pokemon game. And we're gonna do Crystal because I'm not familiar with Generation 2 Pokemon games so I thought we would just start out with this. If people like watching me play Pokemon for whatever reason, we can certainly play a different Pokemon game without the Nuzlocke challenge rules. But I wanted to see if I could survive a Pokemon game with a set rule. Ugh. And uh, for those of you who don't know, the Nuzlocke challenge rules are... Um, if you If a Pokemon faints for any reason, it is considered dead. It must be released. And the other rule is that you can only catch the very first Pokemon you encounter in a new area, and nothing else! Alright, look at that Pokemon Crystal. I'm pretty much familiar with this, um, theme, because I have tried to record this before, but lost the progress, because I forgot that Pokemon is an RPG and does not autosave, so I lost all the progress. So we're kind of doing this again. Um, I only got as far as, like, the first gym's city. I didn't actually fight the gym, so we gotta just we gotta get to that point again. Ah, oh, man. So we're gonna play for like an hour. Uh, what time is it? It is four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, how many minutes? Uh, twenty. Is it twenty? It's nineteen. Yeah, it's four twenty. Ha <laughs> ha! Blazing. No, not really. Yikes! Four twenty. I overslept. Uh, it's Professor Goak. It's Professor Oak. My name is Oak. He's the Pokemon Professor. Alright, uh, one thing about this that leads into two things. I am emulating this because I don't fucking have a copy of Pokemon Crystal. I got my copy of Pokemon Red somewhere around here, and I got my Pokemon Black too. And I don't know how to record either of them. So we're emulating this shit. And that means two things. One, every now and then the audio sort of slips up and gets all weird, like rusty nails on garbage cans. And two, uh, even though I have the option of save stating, I will not be using it, because that would defeat the entire purpose of the Nuzlocke challenge. Alright? If I get to the first gym, and all my Pokemon die, that's it! That's as far as this uh, little series will go! It's all about the, the challenge, man. Ah. Uh, now what did you say your name was? I gotta name myself. Da, 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 yeah, okay, so, like I said, I've got Pokemon Red for the Game Boy. Like, that was the first Pokemon game I played when I was like a little kid. I think my nephews have it now, I think I gave it to my nephews. And the other, the, 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 the next Pokemon game I played after Red, back in like, 1990-whatever, was uh, Pokemon Black 2, just a few years ago. So my, my Pokemon knowledge not that expansive. I'm not that good at Pokemon. And, uh... You know, there's lots of things I don't know. Like, the types. Some of the types I do know about. I mean, like, there's easy ones. The starter Pokemon types, those are easy to remember. You know, fire beats grass. Grass beats water. Water beats fire. You know, then there are, like, some other ones that are kind of easy. Like, bird beats bug. But, you know, there are some... That... You know, I will definitely forget about. There's no freaking potion in my PC. What a bunch of shit! Wait, hold on. Uh, this is a map, right? Yeah, it's a map. So we're here in Newbark Town. I'm gonna try to get to Violet City before the end of this recording session, and then we'll, uh, you know, take a break then. And before we fight the gym leader, I'll do some grinding back in Routes 30 and 31. So that's what we gotta do. That's as far as we gotta get right now. I will not be releasing this on a regular schedule, like all my other s ongoing play playthroughs or whatever. Usually with a playthrough I do one video a day until I finish it. Sometimes I miss a day, sometimes I do two a day. For this game, I am going to upload these videos as I record them, alright? So you will get like four videos at once, alright? For that entire recording session, we'll just go up at once. Because I'm gonna need people's help with this, okay? I already texted my friend- Oh wow, the music went totally shit right there when I got the Pokegear. 
Um, I texted my friend James, who was like the Pokemon master, and the reason that I got Black 2, because he wanted to Poke Battle with me so badly. Um, and he gave me a couple of tips for doing Crystal. He told me about the first gym being a flying type. He told me which starter Pokemon to pick, which, um, you know, I was asking for advice, James. You know, I didn't ask you to pick my starter Pokemon. I know which starter Pokemon I want. Uh, it is Friday. Yes, Friday. Is it daylight saving times now? Who the fuck knows? I'm gonna say yes. God damn it, I don't keep track of daylight savings time. Make sure to come back home to reset the clock for daylight savings time. Sure, go ahead and teach me how to use the phone. Select your poke gear, go to the phone icon, call people. Isn't it amazing? Ah. Alright. Let's go into town. Yay, it's daytime! Last time I tried to record this, and that recording session is just lost to the Aether, it was like midnight, and all I caught were hoot hoots. So hopefully we won't get that kind of bad luck this time. It's a little bit before... Well, actually, no, I think I think the day-night cycle switches over at 6 p.m. So I've got like a good hour and a half before that happens. This son of a bitch is spying on the professor's house and he threw me across the damn map! You piece of shit! Don't worry, we'll run into this guy. Son of a bitch. Alright, fine. Let's talk to the Pokemon first. I'm gonna walk in here and it's gonna automatically take me to Professor whatever his name is. Professor Mohawk. Hey, Willie! There you are! I needed to ask you a favor. I'm conducting new Pokemon research right now. I was wondering if you could help me with it. You see, I'm writing a paper that I wanted to present at a conference. That conference is like two weeks from now, so I need you to get this Pokemon trained up pronto. Yeah, good luck with that, Professor Elm. Alright? In case you don't know, I'm on a mission to do the Nuzlocke Challenge. So that starter Pokemon you're about to give me might not even live long enough to see the championship. Ah, you're a great help. When I announce my findings, I will delve deeper into the mystery of Pokemon. You can count on it. Yeah, let's pick a starter. Oh, hey, I got an email. You got an email. Oh, that is like a laptop. Ew, that is a nasty looking laptop. Uh, Mr. Pokemon, he's found something. I need you to go to him and find out what it is. Blech. Take this Pokemon with you. Come on, give me a fucking Pokemon. Who doesn't know the opening of any Pokemon game? You talk to the professor, he gives you a Pokemon, and you're on your way. Go on, pick one. I want Totodile. Yeah! My, my Poke Bastard Master James told me that Cyndaquil would be the best one, and that Chikorita would be the worst one. So guess what? He's gonna be my rival, and he's gonna get Cyndaquil. Ha 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 ha! Fuck you, James! I am in the control of this Pokemon adventure! Uh, give a nickname to the Pokemon you just got. Alright, cool, it's a male. I know what I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name it. Where the fuck is the H? Huh. Part of the Nuzlocke challenge, it's not a set rule, but you, you kind of have to give nicknames to your Pokemons so you can form strong emotional bonds with them. That way it's all sad and shit when they die. I named my Totodile Hoji, who, uh... You know, I'm a fan of the Super Sentai series, which is the Japanese equivalent to Power Rangers. And, uh, Hoji is Deca Blue! Hell yeah! So I got some, you know, I'm gonna be naming my Pokemon after all sorts of stupid, you know, video game references, anime references, uh, live action series references, you know, whatever. It's my, it's my choice, okay? Damn! Alright, if your Pokemon are hurt, you should heal it with the machine. Feel free to use it any time. Thank you, Professor Elm! You know, some people... The two set rules for the Nuzlocke Challenge are the, like, instant... Not instant. Permanent death and one Pokemon per area. Those are, like, the set in stone rules. The other rules are sort of, like, uh, community made. And they can be enforced whether... You know, you choose whether or not to enforce the other rules at the beginning of the playthrough. So! Some people say that you're not allowed to use the healing machines or the, uh, Poke Centers. Fuck that. Alright? I'm not good enough at Pokemon to not use that kind of stuff. Some people also say it's bad to use potions and other man-made items. Fuck that! I'm not going with that either. I'm gonna use items. I'm gonna use Poke Centers. Some people say that you can't use held items like, uh... Like, uh... Like berries. And those stat increasing items like power bracelets or whatever and I say screw that too I'm gonna use items and I'm gonna use potions and I'm gonna use poke setters ah 
One of the other rules that I am going to enforce is that I'm not bound by the one capture per area rule until I actually get Pokeballs. Because I don't think you get Pokeballs until, you know, after a little while. So for now, I just get some free experience with Hoji. I need to get this item up here. There's a potion up here. Yeah, look at- wow, I made it all the way to the potion. I didn't run into a single Poke Battle. I feel kind of disappointed. So anyway, once, once I get Pokeballs, we'll be uh, following the one capture per area rule. But for now, I get to just get some free experience with Hoji. Ah, uh, what is my first Pokemon gonna be? It's a thing! What the hell is it? It's a Hoppip. Alright, cool. I'm not familiar with Hoppip. Looks like a radish. Scratch that shit! Alright. So yeah, if, if I had Pokeballs right now, this Hoppip would be the only thing I could catch in this area. And I would not be able to catch anything else. If it ran away, or if I accidentally killed it, I'd be down one Pokemon. I wouldn't be able to catch anything else. Um, there are other rules. Uh, we'll get to the rules as they become relevant, but uh, one of the rules that was community made was the uh, duplicity clause, I think. You know, I did a little bit of uh, reading up on this before I decided to do it. I mean, I read, I read the Nuzlocke Challenge comment comics, the web comics by the guy who created the Nuzlocke Challenge. But there are like, there's like a whole Wikipedia for this shit. So I had to read up on that. Uh, the duplicity clause, I think that's what it's called, is that like, uh, if you catch a Pokemon. And then, like, in the next area, the only Pokemon that you could possibly catch is the exact same Pokemon. Uh, you're allowed to, you know, try to catch a different Pokemon. I'm not following that, alright? If I get a team of, like, six Rattatas, then that's my team and I have to deal with it, you know? Once we get up to seven Pokemon, we can start putting some in the box. The PC box. And then we can, like, you know, trade out which ones are useful for the situation. Damn! Hoji, you one-hit that son of a bitch! I'm gonna need you to not do that when I'm trying to catch Pokemon. That's like the worst thing that could happen is like your Pokemon gets so strong that they start one-hitting the, the wild Pokemon that you can catch. And then you don't get anything! Ah, oh. Alright. Hey, it's a Pidgey! Oh, We're running into different Pokemon because it's not date. it's not nighttime. Kick ass! Alright, maybe I won't get a team of, uh, four Hoot Hoots. Kick ass. Alright, cool. So yeah, we gotta get through, like, the little prologue. And then once we get Pokeballs, that's when we can start the challenge. I mean, if something dies- if, if Hoji faints, there's a rule that says, like, you know, before you get Pokeballs, if your starter Pokemon faints, it's okay to hold on to it, but as soon as you get Pokeballs and capture your first Pokemon, you gotta release your- you gotta release your starter Pokemon. There are also rules that say that you should just release your starter Pokemon regardless of whether or not it faints, you know? They don't want people consider that the starter Pokemons are too powerful and that you shouldn't be allowed to use them in the Nuzlocke. Um, screw that. <laughs> I will not be- like, those rules are meant to make the Nuzlocke challenge, which is already difficult, even more difficult. And I'm not that skilled at Pokemon to follow those difficult rules. I'm just gonna be following the set in stone rules, uh, as well as a few other ones that say that, you know, you're not allowed to use- I, I- I think there's one that says you're not allowed to use the daycare center. I will be following that one. I don't think the daycare center is fair. It's completely risk-free. Level ups with no risk of dying? That's bullshit. That defeats the purpose of the challenge. Route 30 is out this way! Traders will be battling their Pokémon here. <laughs> This is the water. Don't go into it. Alright, yeah, it's water. This guy's teaching me about stuff. He told me about the Poke Center. I'm good. I'm allowed to use those, you know. Some people say you can't use those because it's too easy, but I fuck it. I suck at Pokemon, so I'm gonna, you know, use the free Poke Centers. It's not like, don't worry, I'm not gonna be like, oh no, Hoji got one point of damage done to him. Run back to the Poke Center. No, screw that. I'll wait till, like, everybody's close to death before I go to the Poke Center. Alright, wow, the music is really screwing up around here. Alright, so, uh, we got a map in our Poke Gear. So we can just be like, woo, look at the map! Look at all these places that I could go and catch a single Pokemon! Alright. Ah. Uh, um, how is Hoji doing? Oh, shit, wrong thing. Let's see here, yeah, Hoji, you still got full health. Hey, you got an item, too. I think it's a berry. 
I think your poke your starter Pokemon starts out with a berry. But hey! Let's get some items! Uh, he does not have Pokeballs. He is sold out right now. So let's grab an Antidote. Oh, no, not, not 11 Antidotes. I want to just grab, like, two Antidotes. And I want to grab, uh, two potions. There we go. Well, I, I, I feel like I need to save my money, you know, for when, like, we desperately need an item. We don't have Pokeballs yet, so Route 30 is still, you know, free game for experience. Can't catch anything, so what's the point? I can catch some berries! Berries are good! They're like little miniature potions that you can give your Pokémon and they can use in battle. Which is good because that's, it might slip my mind that I'm doing the Nuzlocke Challenge and I might accidentally get one of my Pokémon killed. What do we got here? It's an antidote! Good. Poison is also a bad thing. The shitty thing about poison is, is that it's a way for your Pokémon to faint without actually being in battle. And it still counts against the, uh, you know, permanent death shit. So if your Pokemon gets poisoned, and you don't make it to a Poke Center in time, that Pokemon's dead. And it counts. You can't just, you know, be like, Oh, it doesn't count because I wasn't in battle! Fuck that. Poison counts, even outside of battle, as like the permanent death. 